Hello everybody, I'm Bunsen Hoodie and we're back here at Bunsen Designs and we have something today. So, um, I was told by the dealership that is across the street from me that they got about three vehicles that they're willing to show me and willing to sell me. So, I'm going to head there now with this beast and go pick one up because that truck is going to become, or that vehicle, is going to become my daily driver because... Although I love the raptor and all, it's supposed to be used around the shop. I don't need it every single morning. I might still keep it as, like, my truck, but it's not going to be something I drive every single day. Also, guys, sorry for the lag all of a sudden. It is due to, um, the vehicles that are at the shop. And the vehicle that we're going to be doing today. So we still have a build today. And yes, I'm driving across my grass. But we still have a build today. But the first thing we're doing is getting me a vehicle. Alright, so... Oh, I see something that I already like. So first things first here. Looks like we got a Jeep Wrangler. Unli unlimited Turbo Diesel Cummins. With a winch. Looks like a 4,000 pound-ish winch. We've got American Force Rooms. Alright, we're getting places. We've got... I don't know what that says. Second Amendment. America's Original Homeland Security. Alright, and then we've got a little rack on the top. Alright. Looks like we got one of those new 2023s. Oh, it's a Limited. It's an F-350 Limited. Um, okay. Okay, we don't have a... Look, I have one problem. We don't have a cam locker toolbox. I know a few of my vehicles at, at the dealer don't have a cam locker toolbox. But if I'm going to have this be my daily, I'm going to need a cam locker toolbox. Or I'm going to need something like that where I can just have like tons of space. But I don't know if I'm able to put the doors on this because it doesn't seem to have the doors on it right now. But we have a gooseneck and we have drop it not an adjustable one but this is a limited 4x4 f350 um not a dual okay looks like we got dual exhaust there though let me go on in here okay seats are comfortable looks like the seats are like a bluish white don't really like how that looks we do have a step on the bed though and we got foldable steps all right and then the seats on the jeep we can obviously see but that thing is pretty nice and then lastly, this was what we saw in another video. I believe the video before the Power Sports video. If you haven't watched that, go check it out. But yeah, this thing's a beast. Honestly, I'm picking between that bad boy and the Jeep. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to leave it up to chance. We're going to leave it up to eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Because naturally, that's what I do everywhere. So, eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. My mother said to choose the very best one. You are not it. Red, white, and blue. I choose you. That bad boy it is. I'm going to get this loaded up. And I'll see you guys when it's all loaded up. And the guys are going to take those two around back. And put them back in storage. So I'll see you guys when everything's loaded up and everything's put away. Alright, we are back. We got the Ford loaded up on back there. And we're going to head on back to the shop which is literally just right across the street and then we're gonna go pick up today's build which is gonna be a long time friend that we've had for a bit i believe it's a ford bronco 2022 that we're gonna be picking up and i'm gonna just like shove this ford outside because i have to drive it home anyway so might as well just leave it on outside here and it'll be quicker to just leave it out here i picked this one because it's better than the other ones and it's got a gooseneck on it now it doesn't have a cam locker but i honestly like the older fords more than the newer ones to be honest i just don't know like i personally just don't like the new fords i know i'm driving like a pretty new ford right now but i like 2021s and below. maybe I'll, I'll take a 2022 but the 2023s just look stupid the, the front lights on the grill, they just look dumb. I just don't like them. They look weird. But there is the Bronco. It's a nice white. And the nice thing about this is it's kind of like that Jeep that we had saw just then. You can take the doors off of it. 
You can also take that little back bit off. I was told that the guy had used this for camping. As you can see by the bumper on the front. And the suspension, you can see that this was meant to go camping with. And then he, they also have a spare tire in the back. And then they have a cooler in the back there. But I already paid for it, so we're going to just kind of start this bad boy up. Now, it doesn't have a changed engine right now. Let's get this bad boy on here and fold up the ramps and let's drive on off before the cops come and see us. <laughs> the cops don't really like me in this town. They liked me in Oak Creek, but they didn't like me here. Well, it's not that they didn't, it's, they didn't, they didn't really like me in Oak Creek, but I was friends with the chief in Oak Creek. It's like whenever I got like a fine or something, just call them up and be like, hey, I did nothing wrong. I'm joking. Don't do that in real life, guys. Don't do that. Please don't. Alright, I'm gonna just unload this thing right here. And yeah. I'm excited to see this thing. Cause to be honest, I've been excited for this thing all day. And I'm thinking, when we make this bad boy, we're probably gonna end up taking the doors off. So I will drive this bad boy in there and I will see you guys when it's all done. So it's been about a day or so since the Bronco had gotten delivered also. Power Sports. Looking nice. Still got that Razor in there. No one's bought any of this stuff yet. But the Bronco's done and it's right behind me actually. We're going to reveal it in 3, 2, Oh, baby. So we kept the white because we thought it looked pretty good. But as I said, we took off the door and we took off the little back bit here. So now you can see inside, we added some steps and I believe these are like 40-inch-ish wheels. These are pretty big wheels. I think they're like 48-inch, something like that. And then we have an adjustable hitch. We still got that cooler in the back. We didn't really take that out. We didn't change much on this build. Um, we did leave the grill how it is, though, but... Let's take this bad boy out on the road. See how she drives. We gotta do the flex test, so let's find a good place to do the flex test. We're pro I would usually do it on like these ramps here, these display ramps, but we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna find a new place. Man, let's go to the town. We're gonna pass by my house on the way there. But dude, this thing... This thing's top speed is 139 miles per hour. Dude, look at that jump! Hey, it's crazy how fast this thing can go. Considering it's meant to be like an SUV type thing. It's meant to be an SUV, but people make these things off-road machines, bro. This might have to be become. This might have to become my daily. <laughs> I'm joking. Eventually, we'll deck out the daily that I just bought today. But that's in the future. You know what? There's a perfect fence right here. Let's give her a shot. Never mind, that fence has no collision. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Like, I was trying to find a fence that had collision. Because for some weird reason, the map developer decided to make it so that the fences had no collision. There we go, we found one that has collision. Here, let's get this bad boy up on the pole. Oh, yeah! Look at that back suspension. Now, the front suspension, surprisingly, is not as good as the back suspension. But it's still pretty good. But I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. I just hit a poll. Peace.